the ball shaped chain chomp is back because we're going to play another game featuring a ball and that game is volleyball for the odyssey 2 and according to the box art it's going to be the purple people eaters versus the blue meanies let's go ahead and take volleyball let's pop it in my odyssey 2 and see how it holds up today let's go to the game Volleyball was published by Magnavox and carries a copyright year of 1980. It was programmed by Odyssey 2 super programmer Ed Everett, who programmed about half the Odyssey 2 library, including its final release, Power Lords, which I recently reviewed in episode 674. I'll try to remember to put a link to that review in the description below. The back of the box says the following. Volleyball, regulation, six player teams. Fast, authentic action. The ball is served from outside the court. You can only score points on your own serve. You can pass the ball between your own players and even spike a shot. Play against another player or the computer itself. Digital scoring. Full sync sound action. One or two players. Volleyball is a volleyball game. Surprise, surprise for one or two players with one standard mode of difficulty. When the game begins, you move the controller to let the computer know that a human is playing using that controller. If neither controller is moved, the computer will play against itself. You serve and hit the ball by moving the joystick in the direction you want to hit the ball. If a player is not moving when the ball touches them, the ball will pass through them. Holding down the button while hitting can spike the ball, increasing the speed. When the ball is served, it will speed up after each of the first seven hits. When the ball hits the ground, it will either give a point if the opposite team was serving or give the opposite team the serve. The first team to 10 points wins, and you do not have to win by two points in this version of volleyball. Graphically speaking, the game is pretty basic, and the way the screen layout is, it kind of looks like your players are floating around. The sounds are also generic by Odyssey 2 standards. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating it for release today. Currently at PriceTrying.com, the game has a value of $7 loose, $10 complete, and $21 new. So what do you think of Volleyball on the Magnavox Odyssey 2? This game is frustrating, specifically the controls. One important aspect of Volleyball is being able to reposition. But since the ball responds to a moving player, there were many times I accidentally hit the ball towards my own floor simply trying to move my players to reposition them. I also found it difficult to successfully hit the ball diagonally or to spin bike it. In the end, it seemed the best way to play the game safely was just softly hitting the ball onto the computer side, hoping the computer would make a mistake, which for me personally is not a fun way to play. I would also imagine the game would be frustrating with two players thanks to the hard to use controls. So where am I going to rank Volleyball? It's going to fight War of Nerves for the bottom spot. And I will give Volleyball an edge as the computer actually poses a challenge in this game. So the 19 games that now rank for the Odyssey 2, Volleyball is failing to control the ball at the 18 position. Controlling six players with a single button controller simply doesn't work well on the Odyssey 2 with volleyball. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter, and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. At this time, I'd like to thank Mark W for his generous support on Patreon. If you think these videos give you at least a dollar's worth of information and entertainment per month, please consider joining my supporters at patreon.com slash nosweargamer. Not only will you help keep the show going, but you'll also gain access to some exclusive content. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to see you next time in the next episode of the No Swear Gamer. Take care and go play some Pickaxe Pete instead.